Uh, all right, guys, your next comic coming to the stage. Make some noise and welcome Adam Weatherford. Woo! So uh, I'm a little nervous. It's uh, my first time at Morty's, and I got a, an addition to getting a 17 on that creepy guy test. <laughs> Does a guinea pig count as a creepy pet? Because then it's 18. <laughs> or, no, is it for each one? Because then it's 21. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm married. I get to do what I want. <laughs> I'm in like second year, so that joke works. Uh, I don't know. My wife's funny. She points out things I miss that are cool. Like, we're at a funeral, and it's not like a really. I, we're close, but not that close. It's the kind of funeral where you take a day off, but you're not gonna waste your whole weekend on it. And um, she starts laughing. And she points down, and the grave marker in front of us, flat on the ground, has a Sprite can and a chicken wing on it. Uh, engraved, not sitting there. I would have noticed that. And like, I'm wondering, like, like, did he put that in his will? Did a lawyer write that up and then a guy notarize it? Or did, like, like oh, guys, you know, Ronnie died. Um, we gotta do something special. I think, I think we all know what we gotta do. That's right, that's right. Buffalo wings? I don't know, we gotta do chicken wings. They can't do sauce. It's just, how do you do buffalo sauce with engraving? <laughs> you can't do that. And, you know, Sierra Mist. Wait, what? Is Fear of a Sprite? So yeah, I don't know. I think we're capable as a species, I'm gonna jump a little big now, of like some really cool shit, but also some really terrible shit, you know? Like if I had to grade us, I'd give us a C minus as a species in my humble opinion. And like, like just little things. Like if you notice those bars on benches, they're not to make me feel fat, they have another purpose. And that's to keep homeless people from sleeping on them. So somebody's like, it's gotta be one more thing I can get away from them. I just don't know what. <laughs> You know what? Nowhere to sleep. I don't know. I feel like, in C minus, I know that seems a little low, but like, we got a lot of like, art and humanities and stuff. We have like, genocide and racism. And you know what? What if like, we invented racism? Like what if we need an alien species that has races but no racism? We are screwed. Like, just like, I don't know, we meet like a species on Saturn called Flurbs and we're like jellyfish and they're orange and blue and we're sitting down and we notice there's only blue Flurbs so we ask like, hey, have you guys ever like, has anybody in your history ever just said, hey, let's kill all the orange Flurbs? <laughs> no? Well, at some point you're like, oh man, I don't want to mine this helium gas. Did you ever just make all the orange Flurbs? No, you didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you ever, I know there's more blue Flurbs than orange Flurbs. Did you ever try to like stay in power by keeping them from voting? No? Um, please tell me you at least stole some traditional orange flur music and just like drained it of all the spirit and like really made it, no? God, okay. Uh, we all, if that does happen, we all have to lie about it, okay? We gotta be in it as a species. Uh, that's just, you know, and yeah, no, we gotta think as a species and like, What's another one? Like another weird idea we've come up with as a species, and this might get a little political, is the death penalty. Now like, I, I kind of like the poetic idea of killing a guy for killing a guy, but like the same people who are in charge of the death penalty have been delivering mail to a burned out house I used to live in. <laughs> Every day a mailman walks up the steps, goes up to a burned out house, shoves my health insurance card into a mailbox and walks away. And essentially the same guy who's running that is also in charge of killing people. And you know, I think we'd be less comfortable with the death penalty if someone just thought it up one day, like some weird guy we'd all kind of be afraid of. Because the ritual's a little creepy. So hey, I got this idea, we kill people who deserve to die for crimes. Okay. But, after we're sure, we do a second trial just in case. Does that make sense? Then I put them in a part of the prison, a special part, where all the other people are going to die. Why? Just so they never forget about it. <laughs> Every week, somebody goes missing. <laughs> you know, and then, oh, well, okay, anything else? Well, okay, the last day, they can eat anything they want. Anything in the world, it doesn't matter. 
But deep down on the inside, they'll know, unlike every other meal they'll ever have, they're never pooping this one out. <laughs> Not consciously. <laughs> and you know what? I'll be able to call any time I want and just edit. I won't, but that's an option. It's just to keep the tension going the last minute. And we'll do it exactly at midnight. Why? Are we summoning something? No! Just right then. What day do they die on? The one they're injected on? Or no, it doesn't matter. That's not a point. You know, and then I'll, at the very end, I'll ask them, what are your last words? You can look them up online. There's databases of them. Texas has got this huge database of all these last words. It's creepy because some of them are poetic and some are just like, I don't care. <laughs> but like, you write them all down and you collect them in a database. I feel like the next idea after that is like, after they're dead, I'll walk in, I'll cut a piece of cloth off them. I will go home and I will sew it into my death suit. <laughs> this is my 2014 death suit. I'll wear it on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I only got down to the pants, like the top of the pants this year. I don't care. It's always next year. Thank you very much. My name is Adam Weatherford. <laughs>